Hello there, and welcome to On The Board. Let's get this show on the road so we can go back to admiring Lara Croft's butt. We know you're doing it. We all know we're all doing it. On The Board is brought to you by Great Escape Games, Sacramento's premier game store. Well, now that Rise of the Tomb Raider's out, now we look forward to waiting for some other little games, sort of like XCOM 2, I guess. But the real big title this week, American Truck Simulator. Get your blankets, break out that coffee, it's time to do some trucking. So in board game news this week, uh, Asmodee Games announced yet another acquisition, this time of the Netherlands and Scandinavian uh, game developer um, Bergsala Enigma. These guys do board games and card collectibles, uh, and is yet another casualty to Asmodee's just rampage of buying up all the other game companies around. While this doesn't have a huge impact for us here in the U.S., it does make me wonder if I'm going to wake up one morning and find an Asmodee logo on my right butt cheek. So, uh, besides the Asmodee news, uh, there's been another announcement from Z-Man Games regarding their distribution change. This is going to take effect on March 15th of this year. And uh, it used to be that Alliance Games Distribution was the only ones that had distribution rights for Z-Man Games materials and products. Uh, but that's now expanding out to include a couple others. Uh, and that's going to include um, Peach State Hobby Distribution, Southern Hobby Supply, um, it's going to include GTS uh, distribution and ACD distribution. Um, so that's going to be kind of interesting. It's going to open up some po possible retail stores for them. So an interesting news for the classic game of chess. According to an article by The Guardian, a sheik in Saudi Arabia named Sheikh Abdulaziz El Sheikh, I, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, has ruled that chess is now forbidden in Islam due to the fact that it encourages gambling and is considered a waste of time. And while there's a lot of jokes I'd really like to make right now, I'm not going to. For our videos this week, on Wednesday we've got another playthrough on Duck Game. On Friday we have our Star Wars X-Wing tutorial on Torpedoes. And on Saturday, please be sure to make fun of Logan's vlog. It's not a vlog! So our Kickstarter highlight of the week is Elections of U.S. America Election The Card Game. No, I didn't miss uh, say the title, that is actually what it says. Um, and if the title isn't totally clear to you what it is, it's about elections in the U.S. You take on the role of a candidate trying to win the U.S. primaries. Uh, why we like this game? Um, well, it's kind of topical because right now we have the uh, debates going on. And because the box has barrels of oil, hot dogs, and handguns on it, all underneath a giant eagle. America. Anyway... Uh, it, it looks like a pretty good game. There could be a lot of fun there. You could take on any one of the candidates that you like, from Donald Trump to Hillary Clinton to Sanders to Thulu. You know, Cthulhu. Yeah. Anyway, it looks like a great game. They're trying to raise $30,000 before the time limit. Give them a look. They're going to be in the description below. Uh, if you like political card games, this might be the perfect one for you. I just like hot dogs and handguns and oil. If you like that video, be sure to check out our other videos that you can see now. <laughs> Be sure to check out the other videos that we have, like other X-Wing tutorials below, and <laughs> other Let's Plays, and be sure to like and subscribe so we keep doing, stop doing this to me. Ah.